Hello and welcome to Living Waters where scripture meets life. Last episode we heard about the importance of a forgiving heart for a Christian through the parable of the unforgiving servant. This week we shall look into some of the practical steps we can adopt if we find ourselves struggling to forgive. Number 1. A major obstacle to forgiveness is a self-righteous spirit. If you think yourself more righteous than the offender, if you think of your own sins lightly, it will be difficult for you to forgive. Rather, if you acknowledge that you are just as fallen, just as sinful as the one who has offended you, that you have no right standing before God on your own merit, and that God has still forgiven all your sins in Christ Jesus it becomes easier for you to forgive when we feel hatred and bitterness towards someone we need to think how much far we are in our hearts from the standards god expect from us and this will bring humility this will kill the self righteous spirit in us and it will make it easier for us to forgive number 2 another obstacle is a lack of faith in god lack of faith that he knows what happened to us that he allowed it to happen in our lives that he allowed the offense to happen in our lives that he understands all of that that his justice and ways are always perfect his word his command to forgive is perfect and good for us such a faith will help forgiveness a faithless heart is afraid to forgive afraid to choose god's ways of life rather wants to take control of one's life and wants to have revenge wants to harbor bitterness so let us choose to trust god rather than rather than our own desires rather than the desires of our own flesh to seek revenge and nurture bitterness number 3 do not let bitterness control our emotions and thoughts think through what happened accept it as past what is done is done acknowledge that you had no control over the actions of the of the offender also acknowledge that you have control now over your emotions and reactions towards what ha- what has already happened think as being controlled by the holy spirit and not by the spirit of anger and bitterness be consciously doing that number 4 put to death the desire to dwell on the wrong done to you the more we dwell on it the bitter and bitter it grows the more hurt we become in the whole process there will be people in our lives again who who agrees with us facilitates and even encourages the amplification of bitterness and hatred within us people who who enjoy pouring you know fuel into the fire of hatred and we tend to imagine that these kind of people are the ones who understand us we tend to feel comfortable being with them sharing with them the result is unforgiveness and bitterness abounding we need to flee from such people talk to people with godly perspectives who will help us get rid of bitterness and and forgiveness number 5 beware of our tendency to imagine the worst case scenario let me explain you know when when we sin against someone we say oh i was i was in a bad mood i was having a bad day at work but when others sin against us we have this tendency to conclude the worst scenario we say surely that was premeditated that was intentionally done to hurt me 
shall we always try to give the benefit of of doubt for the other person in favor of the other person think of the best case scenario not the worst that will help us avoid bitterness and help us forgive number 6 this is not an easy one we need to go to the offending person and talk to him or her leviticus chapter 19 verse 17 says you shall not hate your brother in your heart but you shall reason frankly with your neighbor lest you incur sin because of him again matthew chapter 18 verse 15 says if your brother sins against you go and tell him his fault between you and him alone if he listens to you you have gained your brother go and tell him let me give a conditional clause here this is applicable only if there there is no threat of physical harm in in the whole issue go to the other person even though our heart feels like going away from that person go and talk about what what happened and offer willingness to be reconciled number 7 we need to resort to much prayer much prayer pray for the strength to for, forgive pray for the power to restrain hurtful emotions we need to tell the lord lord i don't feel like forgiving but i want to forgive help me lord pray for the uh, pray for the for the good of of that the other person do it repeatedly daily until our hearts change are we able to do that number 8 and finally take the scriptural warnings against a uh, bitterness warnings on the possibility of being unregenerate being outside of Christ if if that person is is not able to forgive a, an unforgiving heart is a is a pointer to search our own hearts to see if we are truly in Christ let me close the same way i did last week if you are a christian if you have the power of christ in you you have the power to forgive if you are a christian you have the power to forgive because you are in christ and his spirit dwells in you